Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Choose You Calgary podcast. For all of our new listeners here, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Aiden, and I'm the season four host for the Choose You Calgary podcast. I'm a business student here at the University of Calgary pursuing a Bachelor of Commerce. I'm also in the co-op program, and I'm working on the recruitment team at the University of Calgary. So that's a little bit about me, and now we can get into the topic of today's episode. I'm very excited to be joined here today with Emily and Landon. They are both two kinesiology students here at the University of Calgary. I'm just very excited and looking forward to chatting with them about the kinesiology program, their involvements, and also any opportunities that they have experienced and just overall their whole undergraduate experience so far at the University of Calgary. So without further ado, welcome Emily and Landon. Thank you guys so much for being here. And yeah, so I guess maybe you guys can just uh, further introduce yourselves a little bit more. For sure, yeah. I guess I can go first. Um, yeah, my name is Landon. I'm a uh, going into my third year in the kinesiology program here at the U of C. My major is exercise and health physiology. One of the key things with the faculty of kinesiology is there's several different different majors that are quite in depth and uh, specific with regards to kinesiology. So that was one of the key things for myself with coming to U of C. And yeah, I'm also like I'm originally actually from just outside Vancouver uh, in BC. So not a native Calgarian, but have enjoyed being here nonetheless. Awesome. I'm from Vancouver too, but I've pretty much grown up in Calgary. So that's cool. And Emily, how about you? I'm from around Calgary. I'm just from Okotoks, which is south for the you that don't know. I'm going into my fourth and final year of kinesiology. I'm majoring in kinesiology, but have added a little spin on my degree and added a leadership, embedded leadership certificate. It's been a great program through and through. I didn't fully know what I was getting myself into. I was drawn to kinesiology specifically just due to my passions in exercise and health and fitness and previous mentors that I've had. And I'd recommend it to anyone who just is passionate about furthering themselves and just really growing their education. The program um, that I'm in specifically has allowed me to kind of swap back and forth. I was in a Bachelor of Science and now I'm in Bachelor of Kinesiology. As London mentioned, there's so many different majors, minors, embedded certificates that you can add to make your degree really fit for you. Totally. Yeah, it's so easy to just make it your own and make it unique and tons of different opportunities that you can take. So what kind of made you specifically choose the University of Calgary when you were deciding to pursue post-secondary? Uh, well, I have to say for myself, one of the big things was I wanted to live away from home and U of C was one of the options I was looking at and the kinesiology program stood out to me with the diversification of the majors available and the ability to kind of tailor it as Emily suggested there with yeah, several different majors. You can go a Bachelor of Science or a Bachelor of Kin, um, so you can be more of a a kines focus or more of a science focus, um, but they still overlap and are quite similar. But interestingly enough, I wasn't actually like considering U of Calgary as my first option originally. And it wasn't until I actually toured the campus and especially the, the faculty itself that I like absolutely fell in love with it and was like, this is where I need to be. And it's turned out to be like a fantastic decision. Like I was very unsure and it's pretty intimidating for sure, like coming out of high school or ending high school and trying to move on to another area of our life and especially if you're moving away from home. But I can say that honestly, like Kinesis has been so welcoming and so supportive that it's made the transition very easy. Yeah, I've heard that too, that a lot of people say the campus tour is just what did it for them. And that's what was kind of like the final deciding factor. Once they took the campus tour, they just fell in love with the campus and could really envision themselves there. So for any future students who are thinking about taking a campus tour, I would definitely highly recommend it. And uh, as well, there's virtual campus tours. If you're not in a spot where you're able to come to campus, definitely check that out. So I'll leave that in the episode notes. So <laughs> yeah, thanks for sharing that. And how about you, Emily? Interestingly, I'm actually the opposite of Landon. Because I live close to the city, my desire as an oldest kid we're the experiment kid. We get thrown into situations. We have to figure it out. So I like that idea of being close enough to home that if anything happens, I have that support system. And it was really a great opportunity for me. The program itself really drew me to um, the University of Calgary. I've had mentors take that program and I've heard nothing but glowing reviews. So that's what really drew me. And I just want to let students know that, yes, you can move away from home or you can do what I'm doing and just kind of commuting. Um, so it's another option for those of you that are maybe not ready to move out of home, that it is an option for you. Yeah, for sure. And I'm kind of, I was kind of in the same boat as you. I wanted to be able to stay home just so I could have a second to just, you know, take it a bit easier. But 
everyone's journey is different and everyone wants different things. So really just do what you want. And yeah, it's like, it's your future here. So you just got to do what's going to make you happy. And well, now that you guys have been in the program for a little bit, what would you say has been one of your most favorite parts about being in the Kines program so far? I can start off. I think the culture and just how much of a like network that you feel like you're a part of in a lot of the kinesiology classes, you'll start in um, like our anatomy and physiology classes and you'll notice similar faces and you'll go to lab. Then as the years go on, I recognize probably 90 to 99% of the students in our classes, which is such a comforting feeling, even though our program is very, very large, like you still feel like, you know, a lot of people that oh, you see someone in your psych class, which I did in a 300 person psych class. I'm like, oh, I think I saw them from Kin. I go sit next to them. I'm literally best friends with them now. So it's really a great network. Another thing that I've loved is just the um, different opportunities. I'm sure I'll touch on this later, but um, I'm involved in the KSS and a couple other um, campus initiatives. And I found that has been a great way to be involved in the culture and just in this whole amazing program that we have going on, there's a lot of great things that the kinesiology faculty has to offer that students don't know about. So I think learning more and being involved is really the best way to get access to those. I can totally just mimic exactly what Emily said because yeah, the culture to me um, is what really stands out above anything else. Like Emily suggested, like you literally get to know pretty much everyone in your, all of your classes, um, even though it is still like, it's a large faculty with the way the programs are designed, uh, you get to really know pretty much most people in all your classes and tend to see them a lot. So it makes it very easy to make a lot of friends. And um, there's a really strong sense of family within the community with that. So it's very comforting knowing that you've got all those people available like to you and to support you. And yeah, it's just been, I know for myself, like coming to UFC as a new undergrad, um, I didn't know anybody or anything. It only, it literally took me about probably a week and I already had friends and people that I got to know really well. And I'm still like very good friends with the vast majority of those people after like almost two years now. So yeah, so it's definitely been very rewarding and exciting having to uh, get to know the community and be a part of that. Yeah, that's one of the like main things that I've noticed about the University of Calgary too is each faculty really does feel like a family and you really do just get to know those people so well and you have that immediate connection that you're in the same program and um, it just it's so easy to get involved once you build those friendships and there's always more ways to get involved and I 100% I agree with that even though I'm not in Kines, I'm in business but exact same thing as you I feel like my faculty is my family and there's so many support systems and lots of different services that you can access. Professors too, like I found a lot of the kinesiology professors specifically are incredible. Like, of course, there's professors that have different um, learning, um, teaching strategies and such, but a couple that stand up to me are like Carrie, um, Bridell, et cetera. And Carol obviously has been a great one, but I'm not sure students will have her in the future. But really getting to know those profs, they become incredible, not only resources, but mentors and role models for you. I'll touch on it later, but one of the classes I took with Carrie Din has stood out to me as um, not only changing my university experience, but my life experience and really pivoting me to a, take on education in a different perspective with different goals. So I really just recommend um, students to not only take Kines, but to get to know those profs because they can be great, great references down the roads and really inspire you to um, get the most out of your degree. That's so awesome. I love when I hear people that are passionate about something or just so grateful for someone. And um, that's so great that you're sharing that too. So anyone listening, if you want to do further research into Kines and kind of get to know the program a bit more, you can keep those profs in mind. All right. So I guess kind of aside from Kines, if you had to say there is another part of your overall University of Calgary experience, that's your favorite. Um, what would you say it is? Uh, I would say for myself, like really the whole... The community feel has been the biggest thing. As a exercise and health physiology major, um, I take lots of courses outside of Kines as well, like outside of the faculty. But um, regardless, I've still been able to meet lots of amazing people. I've also lived in residence the last two years. Well, first year I was like as a resident, and then I've been a community ambassador in residence this past year. But yeah, the community is just amazing. I know people from practically every faculty and they all have such unique stories and interests and things and it's just so awesome to meet so many different different people and I also too really love the campus itself 
it's not as large as some other uh, major schools in the country are. Um, but I think that really helps U of C because it makes it much more tight knit, whereas some other schools are so large that it's quite difficult to actually really kind of get a feel for the place and actually feel like you're, I guess, a community. It's more of just like a, a large, um, like broad city. Yeah, no, I totally know what you're trying to say. Yeah. 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 I'll just add and mention that one of my favorite parts has been the transition between high school and university. It's funny because I have younger sisters and they often are like, oh, this is the best years of my life. But once you get to university, two of the main differences I found is just the opportunity level. When you're at high school, it's like, hey, you can be on these sports teams and these are the two clubs. That's it. Once you come here, like there's, I think, over like a hundred different clubs. Like it's insane. And there's over endless- 300. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, we'll round up to 300. Thank you. (laughs) So basically like right right there shows you how much opportunity there is and it can get overwhelming, but it also is just incredible because regardless of your interest, your passion, there is something for you in research opportunities or clubs. So I would just recommend people be open to that as they come. And the other aspect that I really loved besides just university is just that feeling of like investing in yourself. Yes, it is very sad when you make that e-transfer twice a year, but it is an investment in yourself. It feels so good to be like, wow, like I am learning things and not everyone gets that experience and that opportunity. So it'll not only serve me in my program, but also in life and in the workplace. I always look back to, and I just think, wow, like I've really accomplished so much since I've been here. And it's so crazy because when I first started out, I never would have imagined everything that I could accomplish. And I think that's another huge thing about the University of Calgary is that the opportunities are endless. And even going into it, you don't even know what you're about to experience. It's just so amazing. (laughs) I can definitely relate to that. I've got to say, like, I don't think if you told me coming in to the start of my degree, like the stuff that I've that I've been able to do and been lucky to experience and get involved with. Yeah, I wouldn't have believed you and also like wouldn't have even thought of that, those things as, as a possibility. Here at UCalgary, we operate several recreation facilities on campus, including the fitness center, aquatics, gymnastics, racket, and the climbing and bouldering walls at the outdoor center. We strive to promote lifelong active living for all, For more information, please see the link in the episode notes. Emily, I remember you said that you were going to touch on this after, so we can touch on it now if you want. Um, So if each of you were to look back so far at all the classes that you've taken, and if there was one class that really just stood out to you or one that you really enjoy, it doesn't even have to be a Kinesis class, what what would your favorite class be? Yeah, um, mine's a no-brainer, Ada, and you hit it right on the nose. It's Kinesis 311. That's with Carrie Dent. I believe it's titled Leadership Foundations or Foundations of Leadership. This class, I cannot stress it enough. I'm beyond passionate. It changed my life. I'm not trying to be cliche. It legit, like, the stuff that you learn is something that changes your perspective on yourself, on others, on what a leader really is. And it empowers you beyond words that you can do whatever you want. Like learning these different core values, basic skills of communication, organization, teamwork. It's not only valuable for kinesiology, but just in my workplace and in everyday interactions. Every conversation you have every single day is an opportunity to be a leader. You have the opportunity to create a lasting experience, to convey your values, and to make a difference. So it really empowered me. I participated in a research study, and that then inspired me to take on the leadership embedded certificate and continue to take on roles of the KSS and in life to push myself as a leader. So it's a long-winded story, but yes, 311 all the way. That's so nice. That class probably is what started your passion, I guess, for leadership. And you use that as a stepping stone to expand your horizons into all these other involvements. So when you look back, it's like, wow, that class really did change everything. It was like not only a turning point in education, like before that class, I really thought of, oh, you attend the class, you memorize, you regurgitate, that's it. That class really challenged me to like take in what I was learning and apply it every day. So it made it way much more meaningful and therefore it's just my favorite class. (laughs) Well, I unfortunately haven't had the opportunity yet to take uh, 311, but I do know Carrie Dunn is absolutely amazing. Again, that's one of the reasons why I encourage students to um, get to know their professors, especially in Kines, because they're so outgoing and they're really willing to give students opportunities to do stuff. 
And then, so as for my favorite class, I think one that stands out for me with regards to more of developing a better understanding of how to understand others' lives would be Case 244. So that's with Dr. William Bridell. Um, and he is also absolutely fantastic. And that class discusses the social cultural aspects of sport. So it's a really cool opportunity to learn new perspectives and just um, worldwide events as well. I found myself, I really gained a better understanding of like what people have been through. And I think in today's world, um, especially with the last year and a bit, that's more important than ever. So yeah, that class really, really stood out to me as something that's not only made a difference in my learning, but just in how I go about everyday life. You guys are kind of making me jealous. I wish I could take these classes now. Like they sound so interesting. <laughs> um, I just love hearing about this because I love learning too. And yeah, those classes honestly sound amazing. So it's never too late to transfer aiding. Come over to Kinesi. We have the most fun. <laughs> yeah, no, that's so great. Um, aside from classes, obviously classes are super important, but it's also important to get involved outside of your classes and um, in my opinion, at least. Uh, have you been involved in extracurriculars? If so, and what have you done to kind of get more of an experience out of your degree? Yeah, for myself, I found the extracurricular things that I've been involved with have really supplemented my my learning and my experience and really made it the phenomenal time that it's been. I've been involved with a variety of different things. And what I found when I first came to the UFC was I was just shocked at how much opportunity there is. For myself, I got involved as a research assistant at the Sport Injury Prevention Research Center, which is part of the faculty of kinesiology. So that's been a really cool experience. I've learned a lot from professors and professionals in the field, and it's been neat to take a look into the research side of things and see how that works. Um, and then as well, I've also been, I mentioned this briefly earlier, I've been a community ambassador in residence. Um, so looking after a floor in residence, um, being a support source for first year students, which has also been an incredible opportunity to um, understand myself better and really give back. Um, and then as well, I'm also a member of the uh, Dinos rowing team, which has been a bit, which was a bit of a roundabout journey, to be honest, uh, in terms of me actually becoming a part of that. Rowing is a bit different than the other varsity sports because not a lot of people have actually rode prior to university. It's a bit of a niche sport in that sense. So I had an interest in it and I knew a fair amount of people on the team. So I just tried to get involved and start training with the team and eventually made my way um, onto the team and to competing and such. So that's also been a very, very cool experience being part of the, the Dinos athletic community and being involved in, staying involved in sport. Um, Cause that's something that's, that I've, I'm very passionate about and that I really wanted to keep doing um, coming out of high school. Nice. That sounds really cool how you said you just like were interested in the team and it just kind of goes to show that you can really do anything almost if you put your mind to it and if you're passionate about it. And I think the University of Calgary is like the perfect place to do that. I definitely um, do have to say for everyone listening to just really go for it with things. Cause yeah, like I said earlier, like I wouldn't have imagined that I'd be doing some of the things that I've been able to do, but a lot of that has really just come out of me just trying to reach out to others and just like inquire about opportunities. And um, like, I see something like, oh, like, I think that'd be really cool. And then just kind of go for it. Um, and that's really like, that's how rowing kind of has turned out. Yeah. So I would say for, for any future students, make sure like this is your time to really become yourself and really excel in things. So just really go for it and don't be afraid to to reach out to profs, coaches, um, other students, etc. and really just try to get involved. Yes, I'd absolutely echo Landon's point of pushing yourselves. Um, two of the big examples for myself has been my involvement in the KSS, which is the Kinesiology Student Society. We are a kinesiology organization with executives, members, and we host a lot of events when I was first looking in 2020, I was applying to be the VP administration of the club. And it was very daunting. I was like, I don't know enough people. Do I even know what I'm talking about? Would I even do a good job? But something inside of me was just like, just try it. Like you don't know until you try. What's the worst case? You don't get it. And then you find a different club that's going to be a better niche for you. And thankfully, I did get elected in the position. And throughout my experience in the last year as the administration, I've learned way more skills than I thought I would. I've networked and met incredible people. And this year, I'm very happy to say that I am actually elected as the president of the Kinesiology Student Society. My role has evolved and my position really 
now in titles overseeing all of the different events and leadership experience is the best way to get the most out of your um, university experience for sure. You could not have said that better. <laughs> totally. I think that, you know, being involved, taking on those leadership roles and pushing yourself, if you're interested in something, that interest is sparking from somewhere. You're never going to be able to fully achieve what you're passionate about unless you push yourself, unless you just take that leap of faith and just go for it. And you're right. Like, what's the worst that could happen? You just don't get it or it doesn't work out. Then you can try again with something else or try again next year. Like, like it's never too late. And yeah, it's, it's always great to just push yourself and take on new experiences and challenges. Absolutely. And just to further that point, for first-year students, we have um, junior executive positions. So these are first-year students that will apply and become like our mini execs. They'll take on different roles and get to know the faculty and our club more um, in-depthly. So that's just, yeah, to echo the point that if, even if you don't get elected or you don't get into the club that you think you want and you need, there's always more opportunity. Totally. I agree. And yeah, even like a club that I'm involved with too, we also have junior execs. So I know a lot of clubs probably do that. So as a first year, don't think, oh, I have to be in third and fourth year and have all this experience. Like, no, there's always ways to get involved. You, you can start somewhere and everything is a start. And it's always just great to just do what you're passionate about. And um, yeah. Yeah, and that's just something really important is that I was really in my third year when I started to be like, okay, I'm joining an executive team, I'm changing around my degree, I'm adding this and better leadership certificate. So don't feel, for those of you listening, don't feel pressure that when you apply, you need to know what major, what minor, what embed certificate, what classes, what props you're going to meet. It comes to you as you experience the classes. So try not to feel overwhelmed. Don't be too hard on yourselves. It's going to be an amazing experience and it will be unique to you. Yeah, for sure. There's only so much you can plan. Don't feel like you need to know everything right away because it will come to you and you're going to figure out what where you're meant to go. So if you do find something that you maybe didn't, you don't like it as much as you thought we were going to, um, yeah, there's, there's always the opportunity to change things and try new things and um, move things around and nothing's really set in stone. So that's, that's been another thing that I've found too being able to adjust like classes or um, even like uh, extracurricular interests as I go and getting that experience with those things and just putting yourself out there like we've kind of talked about really makes a difference for you to um, find what you do really love to do. Like for me personally I've changed my major three times and I'm going into my fourth year <laughs> but it's the advisors are great they make it so easy for you and they like um, provide you with really clear guidelines and a path at least in my experience uh, so if you're ever kind of stressing about that I would just highly recommend speaking to a program advisor and um, seeing what options you have nothing is permanent you can always change um, really just try to experience as much as you can and find what fits best for you but maybe if you could just give one main reason why people should apply to the kinesiology program, if they're interested in it, or if they are considering a few different like schools for kines, what would you say would be the number one reason to apply? The number one reason to apply to kinesiology at the University of Calgary um, is just simply the opportunity you get. Also, you get a phenomenal community as part of that as well. But I know for myself, like some of the things that I've been able to do and be a part of with the faculty. Well, I know for certain that I wouldn't have the opportunity at other schools simply because it's just not there. UFC has been very, almost like trailblazing in terms of how they've um, developed the faculty and the programs, um, whether it's the variety of majors that you have, which I kind know of for myself in applying um, to different schools, there was, UFC stood out because of how there was several different majors like biomechanics, exercise and health physiology, just general kinesiology, whereas other schools just have the one program with no major. And then as well, like with the university being so focused on research, if that's something you'd like to get interested in, there's a ton of opportunity in the faculty for that. An example of an opportunity at UFC is that it's one of eight International Olympic Committee recognized um, research centers for injury prevention in sport. Um, there's only eight in the world and one of them happens to be at UFC. So that's just an example of the many different things that the Faculty of Kinesiology provides. Wow, I didn't even know that, but that's so awesome. And you can really just get the full experience. Yeah, for myself, I will second and then elaborate Landon's point. The main reason that you should apply to Kinesiology at University of Calgary is because of the experience. Not only does the Kinesiology 
specifically have great opportunities. But the Kinesiology Student Society does have um, something called Kin Camp. It's actually super fun. I'll be planning it this year. We're waiting to see what restrictions will allow, but it's usually an overnight trip to a camp um, where we'll do like high ropes course, dodgeball, sometimes um, bubble soccer. Like we do all these fun games. You learn like a different chance and stuff for when we have our orientation and stuff. And really the experience of being part of not only the kinesiology faculty, but the University of Calgary. We have like the Crochild Classic. We have um, the Muta Shorts Day. We have so many different like events and elements of like the culture and the experience that does make you feel part of the family. If you're in kinesiology specifically, like I said, with our club, like we have mentorship and tutoring opportunities. And we're looking at creating a kin peers group program. This is very new. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be talking about it yet because he emailed me last night, but you guys should get hot off the press. We're looking at creating a group that is going to be there to support first year and second year students because both of these are going to be new groups of students that don't know what the university is like, not only the experience, but just the layout. So really, I think that University of Calgary is really the best prepared to support incoming students that are unsure, but also excited. And the amount of opportunities, like Landon said, and experience that I'm explaining that we have to offer is unlike other universities. That's amazing. And that honestly just goes to show that there is so many different support systems. And if you ever are unsure about anything, there's always going to be people or um, services that you can use to help you and to that will welcome you in with open arms and will be there for you. Sorry, Aiden, I have one more cool experience no, that I really want right to add. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, another thing that I don't know if students have heard about, but it's called um, kinesiology games. But Kinesiology Games is actually um, an international conference. So we'll have kinesiology groups from teams from each university. So all the way from BC to out in Ontario, the island, um, here in Alberta, like Sask, everywhere. And two years ago, they met in Niagara Falls. And it's this huge experience to meet other kinesiology students, to network, to do academic, athletic, and spirit challenges. I was involved with it this past year online. And what was an incredible experience I know that doing it in person would be 10 million times as fun. So really the experience of being a kinesiology student and then that of University of Calgary is unlike none. So look into it, please, guys. We have so much to offer for you. And yeah, you won't regret your decision. That does sound so fun. I'm like, uh, I just want to come with you guys and do that. (laughs) I'm telling you, you still have a year. You can transfer Aiden. Come on, come to the fun set. Wow. I'm just like, that is just amazing. I guess if there was one final tip, piece of advice that you just wanted to say to end off our podcast, um, just for any prospective students listening, just one last piece of advice, what would you want them to know? Uh, Well, I would say it would be kind of like really just go for it. I know for myself, like, yeah, coming out of high school, it's, you know, there's a lot of different uh, social pressures and expectations, but when you come to university, none of that really matters anymore. And it's really, this is like your opportunity to find yourself and um, really, yeah, make lifelong experiences and memories that'll really guide you to where you want to go. And I know I can definitely say for myself, that's what's occurred. So yeah, I would, I would just reiterate really to just go for it. If you find, if you see something that you might be interested in, look into it, try to get involved with it. Talk to your profs is another big one too, especially in kinesiology. I cannot say that there's been a single prof that I haven't thought was absolutely awesome. And yeah, they're also very eager to get students involved and to uh, help support them. So I think if you do those two things, you'll really find yourself really just enjoying where you are and um, also excited for the opportunities ahead. Yes, I would agree with Landon. I'll add two points. So my first one would be really just don't compare yourselves to others and their journeys. Each and every one of you listening is going to have your own path and your degree is going to be completely unique to you. So something I continue to work on and to emphasize to um, my executive team and to those um, prospective students is to really enjoy the moment. And this is my second point. Um, You're only in university for a short period unless you want to take it in six years, which is also fine. Do take the time, enjoy it. Um, So really Not only don't compare yourself, but enjoy every minute. Try those opportunities, get involved, and don't put so much stress on yourself. It does sound cliche, but once you just really take the time to enjoy where you're at and be grateful that, wow, I have such a cool faculty, I'm taking such interesting classes, it really changes your experience and allows you to grow as a student and as a person. 
Thank you guys so much. That was so amazing. Even that advice you gave, I feel like I can even just apply it to myself too. It's okay to slow down, enjoy the moment, and really try to experience it as much as you can. Take a step back and look and be like, wow, I'm doing this and I have all these opportunities. And, you know, give yourself a pat on the back for even just getting yourself here. I just wanted to say thank you as well. Um, this is an absolute pleasure talking about this. I'm super passionate about everything involving Kinesis, so uh, I really enjoyed getting to discuss my own experiences and um, the faculty itself and just what it really represents. So it's been an honor and to be here today. Thank you guys so much. I really, really, really enjoyed learning about everything and I found it so interesting, honestly. So I think that prospective students will really appreciate everything that you had to say. Thank you, Aiden. It's really been a pleasure to be able to speak with you. And if I can throw in one more plug, at KSSU Calgary is our Instagram. And then our Gmail is KSSUCalgary at gmail.com. Please reach out with any questions if you're even just considering the program and you want to talk with myself, because I really just want to answer any questions and make the transition as clear and enjoyable as I can. Yes, I can for sure do that. I always make sure to add everything we talk about in the episode notes and I always include all the links. So everyone be sure to check out the episode notes. If you are interested in anything that we talked about today, I'll have everything linked there, including the choose.ucalgary Instagram and the University of Calgary Future Students Facebook page. Just DM me on there and I'm always happy to answer anything that you want to talk about. So yeah, with that being said, I guess, thank you so much, Emily and Landon. I really loved having you on and super excited to have this episode out so um yeah thank you guys again and thank you to everyone listening today we are always happy to like i said answer any questions and we will see you soon in our next choose you calgary podcast episode